Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see about the rest of the minerals like your sulfur, zinc and fluoride. When you hear about sulfur, the important amino acids which contain sulfur are cysteine and methionine. So the major source of sulfates in our body is the sulfur containing amino acid, cysteine and methionine. So the protein contain about 1% sulfur by weight. So the proteins are the sources of sulfur. What are the functions of sulfur in our body? Main thing is it forms disulfide bridges. Okay. Like in your insulin, it contains two polypeptide chain A and B. You can see intra and interchain disulfide bridges, immunoglobulins. So mucopolysaccharides, the second function is formation of mucopolysaccharides. Some of the mucopolysaccharides are sulfated, like your chondritin sulfate, which is present in cartilage and bone. The third important thing is keratin. Keratin in your hair and nail are rich in sulfur. So, in beauty parlors, if you do straightening, they are going to break the disulfide bridges in the hair for smoothening your hair. Okay. So, the keratin is important protein present in the hair, which contains sulfur as your disulfide bridges. And also many enzymes and peptides contain SH groups at their active site, like your coenzymes, glutathione. Everything contains SH group in which the sulfur is very, very important. Next thing is your coenzymes. Usually the vitamins act as your coenzymes, like your thiamine, biotin, pantothenic acid, lipoic acid. When they form the coenzyme structure, they contain sulfur like your CoASH. This is given by your pantothenic acid. So, it forms the active pantothenic acid coenzyme. Next is active sulfur, phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate, which is produced during metabolism of cysteine and methionine. Next, sulfates are also important in detoxification mechanism. So, it produces indoxyl sulfate. So, they are important for detoxification. So, the overall function of sulfur is to provide disulfide bridges and help in the formation of mucopolysaccharides and keratin. They also act, okay, they also help in the function of coenzymes. How it is excreted in our body? All the sulfur groups are oxidized to a form called sulfate and excreted in urine. So, there are three categories. Inorganic sulfates, organic sulfates and neutral sulfates. So, they are going to excrete in these three forms. Total quantity of sulfur present in urine is about 1 gram per day. So, I have seen the functions and how it is excreted. The deficiency of sulfur in the body causes obesity, heart diseases, Alzheimer's and chronic fatigue. So, next we will move on to the another mineral called zinc. 